Now which is it, Pastor? Is it law or grace, works or faith? Which is it? <laughs> let, me, let me give you a little story I read. A man lived in a city that was bounded by a rather wide river. And people who lived on the other side and wanted to cross the river had to walk way down to the bridge and come across. So this man got an idea. He bought himself a little boat and he had two oars. Then he went and took a hot iron and he branded one oar works. And with the other, he branded it faith. And then he charged people a quarter to cross the river, making a little money. And whenever he got people on his little boat, he would always turn those words so they could see it. And he'd start rowing. And they'd get out in the middle of the river and invariably somebody would say, what do those words mean on your oars? And that's what he was waiting on. He said, I'll show you. And he'd pull works up into the boat and just paddle with grace and faith. And you know what happens when you paddle with one oar? You go around and around in a circle, getting nowhere. And then after a while, he'd pull in faith and he'd paddle with works and you go around the other way, getting nowhere. But when you get works and faith together, you can make it cross the river with somebody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are not saved by works, but you're not going to be saved without works. Is that clear? But works follow conversion. We are saved freely. But when you are saved, and I hate to use language like that, because in the Greek you have progressive language, future perfect. It really means we are being saved. And while we are being saved, it is a joy to do God's will. Not a problem, a privilege. <laughs>